Nothing can ruin a video like bad audio. It's the worst. Today, we're gonna take a look how to get crisp audio on your Pocket 2. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. If you're new to the channel, I'm Dave, and this channel is all about filmmaking tips and camera gear. If you've watched some of my videos, you know I love the Pocket 2, and I have a lot of content on the Pocket 2 and the old one, the Osmo Pocket. So if you're interested in my videos, please consider subscribing, and hopefully I can bring you some content that you really like. Okay, let's get to the audio. When the Osmo Pocket first came out, I didn't buy it right away. However, I was doing some research, and I was really impressed with the features and all the specs of this tiny camera. It was a camera like no other. I've never seen a camera like this. I was very, very excited. The video aspects of this camera were awesome. However, it seemed that DJI forgot a pretty darn important thing. They almost completely forgot about the audio. Sure, they gave you internal microphones on the Osmo Pocket, but they weren't that good. They weren't horrible, but they weren't that good. We wanted an option to get really good audio out of this tiny camera. It took them forever, but finally they came out with the audio adapter, which you had to buy another accessory for this camera. And of course, you're making this camera a little bit bigger with this audio adapter. But the audio adapter did work for most people. It did allow you to get nice crisp audio right on the camera. You connect a wireless microphone, you connect a shotgun, whatever you want, and then you can get good audio to go along with your good video. And then jump ahead two years later, DJI came out with a Pocket 2. Now this camera was great. It was an upgrade from the Osmo Pocket. Video aspects were a little bit better, a little bit bigger sensor, a little better lens, little other features that we really, really liked. However, they really stepped up when it came to audio. The internal microphones alone on this camera are night and day better than the internal microphones on the Osmo Pocket. Then they gave the option of having a wireless microphone system if you purchased the do-it-all handle with this camera. Sure, you had to purchase another accessory, but the do-it-all handle does a lot. It almost does it all. Cause maybe, maybe that's why they came up with that name. Yeah, maybe. Now you have the option of having a wireless microphone with this camera. That's something I didn't even think they were going to do. I just wanted an audio port on the camera itself. It doesn't, but with the do it all adapter, it does give you a mic port right there on the adapter. So that's great. So now you can still connect any device to it to get really good audio, any microphone that you want. Now, I think we can all agree that DJI really has stepped up the game when it comes to audio. It's not perfect, but it's much better than what it was. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at some of the best options for getting really good crisp audio out of your pocket too. Sorry, before we get started, I did want to say that I did try to shoot this video outdoors as it's a really good way to test out the mics, especially with the wind noise. But of course, the two days that I did try to shoot it outdoors, it was really windy. Actually, too windy. Beautiful sunny skies, but really windy. It is windy, and I don't even know if this is... The wind is blowing like you wouldn't believe. So, I'm trying to do a test on the microphones, but I don't know if it's working. Sad, isn't it? It is. Okay, so now I'm using the internal microphone on the Pocket 2. Of course, the wind has just died now. <laughs> and then it just goes back listen to that. Unbelievable. Anyways, I did try to shoot outdoors. I tell you, I did, I did. Okay, first up, I'm using the do-it-all handle, which is attached right now to the camera, and I'm using the wireless mic that comes with it. Now, this is a great little system. So small and actually works really, really well. It gives you decent audio. I think it's a great thing that DJI came out with this wireless system that allow people to have the access to a wireless microphone system on such a small camera. It really gives you some freedom to get creative with your shots. Now, it's not the perfect system. I do find that it does break up every now and then, but for the most part, it is pretty decent and the signal is pretty good. My only big drawback about this thing is the look of it. I don't really like the look of having a square microphone on your shirt uh, or anything hanging off of you that looks like this. Now, you add the, the dead cat or the windsock that comes with this and it's even worse. It looks very, very odd. 
Now, some people might not care about that. All they want is the nice, crisp audio, and that's great. I agree, that's the most important thing, but I think we can get a happy medium of good, crisp audio from this system, but you still don't have to see this microphone, that would be best. So now another option with this wireless system is that you can hide the mic. Now, you can't really see the microphone on me. There's a little bit of a bulge right here. That's not an extra nipple. That's not a nubbin. That's the microphone. I'm just hiding it. Uh, sure, anyone can do it any different way. Um, if you get creative, you can always hide a microphone, which is great. Now, my only concern is that because my shirt is somewhat covering it, that it will cause it to be a little bit noisy. Maybe my shirt might ruffle up against it, but if not, if you set it up in the right way and I'm not moving too much, hey, it can work great. You're hiding it and you're still getting that great crisp audio. Next step of that wireless system is to be able to plug in your own microphone to the little wireless adapter. Now, for me, I love having a wireless lav connected. This is the lav from my Sony system. It's a very good microphone. So now I can use that microphone, attach it to the wireless system and give me good audio while looking like a normal microphone. I don't really like that big square there, but with this, it looks pretty decent. I do still prefer not having a microphone on at all and using a shotgun, but sometimes if you want to get really good audio, you have to have that microphone there. The benefits of having that there is that it's so close to the subject, so close to you, that the audio is going to be pretty decent. There's not a lot of room between the microphone and the person. So sometimes a lav mic is a great way to go. And the fact that you can just plug this into the adapter and get audio right away, I think that is a bonus. Now, another option that I like using is my own wireless system. I have this system from Sony. It's a great little digital system that allows you to record audio in almost any device. It has a XLR jack or a 3.5 mil jack, whatever you want to do. It's a receiver and a transmitter, two different devices. You just hook one device up to the camera and then the other one is attached with your lav mic which you see right here. The ability to have choices like this with this camera is great. Now for me, I can hook up my own system that I'm comfortable with, I've used in other productions, and I know it's gonna give me pretty decent sound. It's not the most expensive system out there, but it costs a lot of money, and it's something that I've made a, an investment in, and I wanna use it as often as I can. So now I can just plug it into the do-it-all adapter here with the mic port, and it's gonna work fine. I can also use the audio adapter with this if I don't wanna use the do-it-all adapter, and it works well there as well. You just gotta properly mount it to the camera, which is not very difficult, and then you're gonna get really good audio. So it's good to have another option to use a separate wireless system. Okay, so now we move from the wireless system to the shotgun microphone. Right now I'm using the Rode Video Micro, one of my all-time favorite little mics. I keep this microphone in every camera bag that I have. In fact, I have two of them, because you never know when you're gonna need this thing. It's a great little shotgun microphone, very, very affordable. I think it was like $70 Canadian or something like that. Very, very good. The best thing, you don't need a battery in it. So you don't need to keep forgetting to either turn it on or putting a new battery in it. You plug it in and it works. It might not give you the exact same audio that a more expensive shotgun mic, but the fact that it's so convenient and because of the size of the Pocket 2, it's easy to get it out of the shot because you don't want your shotgun microphone in your shot, of course. Here's what not to do with the Rode Micro Mini as a shotgun microphone for your pocket. Just make sure you don't have it in your shot. I love this little thing and it's so tiny, but you wanna get it as close as possible. Just make sure it's not in your shot. So this is the sound coming from the Rode Video Micro. So now we're moving on to another shotgun microphone. This is the Rode Mic Pro Plus. It's a more expensive microphone than the other one, but you're getting a little bit better quality. You have a couple more options on this. It's not plug and play as easily as the other one, but you have a lot more options on this. One of the great things about this microphone is that it has a smart system in it. So when you plug this into a camera, the mic knows that it's being use so it powers on automatically this really saves you turning the microphone on turning it off saves your batteries which you do need in this however because that system you don't always have to worry about turning that microphone on i have had shoots ruined because somebody has forgotten to turn on the microphone whether it's a switch on the back or a little switch on the shotgun microphone 
it happens. So the fact that these devices are getting so much smaller, that's great. Now, we don't know what the quality is like on this. I'm hoping the quality is pretty decent and I can use this for vlogging or sitting down like this or an interview style and that would be great because I love to use a shotgun microphone. Okay, so now I've saved the best for last when it comes to my shotgun microphones or maybe the most expensive for last. This is the Sennheiser. It's part of the 600 series. I use this for a lot of professional work. It's a great shotgun mic. You can use it on boom pole. You can use it for interviews. If you don't want to use a lav mic, you just got to make sure you put it high enough, but you want to make sure it's close enough so that you're going to get good audio. Now it does take a battery and you have to be careful. If you don't turn the microphone on, then you won't get audio on a device like this. If your device has phantom power, good, you're okay but the Pocket 2 does not have phantom power. So you're gonna need a battery on this and hopefully it's gonna give me really good crisp sound. Now I have it hooked up through the uh, audio port here. I'm using the 3.5 jack. It also connects via XLR, which I normally use it for uh, other larger cameras, but hopefully it sounds pretty decent. Now, I don't think I would use this on a normal shoot with the Pocket 2 because as you can see, this microphone is way too big and it kind of looks funny on the uh, pocket too but i wanted to give it a try okay so now i've taken off all those ridiculous microphones and now we're just using the internal mic system of the pocket too now granted this is my studio or my basement really don't have a studio the acoustics are horrible down here it's a somewhat large room but there's walls all over the place bouncing things off it's not very good for getting a really good acoustic sound. Now that I'm not using a microphone, you might hear a little bit of echoing. You might hear a bunch of odd noises that are coming from this room. But hey, it's been the same for the other microphones. So it would have been bad for those as well. But now you're using an internal microphone. So it might be a little bit added noise. You can tell me. However, I do love the fact that they do have the better mic systems on this camera. And the fact that it is directional. So if I'm moving around with it, there's the front mics, the side mics. I love that idea. And you also have the option in the Mimo app to change which microphones you want to use. That's great. Just be careful that it doesn't screw you over and you pick the wrong microphone if you're using it one way or the other. But this is the sound from the internal microphones. Hopefully it's good enough. Now, hopefully I've showed you some pretty good options for getting good audio from your pocket too. Now, if we were to rate those, I'm not sure how they would come out. For me, I do love using the wireless microphone with the do-it-all handle. I think that's a great thing to do. I actually prefer, like I mentioned earlier, to have the lav mic on and get my audio that way. That's just a personal preference. I've been using lav mics in filmmaking for such a long time, I'm just used to that. Maybe you like to have the actual wireless device on here, and that's great too. It does give pretty decent sound. Next, I would say probably the shotgun mics are pretty decent. I love the fact that shotgun mics are so easy to use. You just plug them in and they're gonna work for you. They have nice big dead cats or wind socks on there to really make sure you get nice good audio in any conditions, especially outside. So I love the fact that you can connect a shotgun microphone to this camera. So that's a great option as well. Now, lastly, of course, is the internal mic system. I love it. I think it's fantastic compared to what it was before. It's not perfect and it might not give you the most crisp sound. Maybe the wireless and the other mic attaching another microphone is going to give that to you. But the fact that it gives you pretty decent sound, you can just walk around with it, get good decent sounds from such a tiny little camera. I think that's a bonus. So for me, depending on what I'm shooting, if I'm just shooting a vlog where I'm walking and talking, I might use the internal microphone or just hook up a shotgun and go like that. But if I want really crisp audio, I'll probably hook up the wireless so I know that I'm going to get the best possible chance to get the best audio possible. So what about you? How do you like to mic up your Pocket 2? Do you like the wireless? Do you like a shotgun? Or do you just like the internal microphones on this little camera? Let me know in the comments. I love talking about this camera down in the comments. Let me know how you think you can get the best possible audio out of this little device. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.